All right, let's get started here, water signs, and see what's going on. What message do we have here for Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer? What do they need to know? Let's see what Spirit wants you to know from the Horror Oracle deck. Ooh, shock. Shock. Well, there we go. We have Psycho here. Bates Motel. <laughs> okay. Something here is shocking your system. Let's read what shock has to say before we pull the other cards, though. You want me to read this first before they pull the other ones, so... Psycho. Well, we know this was directed by Alfred Hitchcock back in 1960. I just want to make a change. While we, while we generally consider ourselves to be playing the lead role in the film of our lives, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, <laughs> we are also part of our larger story in which other actions may spin the narrative in unexpected directions. This can be a real shock, a violin shriek of the nerves. Things may change dramatically, especially when you least expect it. Don't let your guard down. The scream. Something here is going to shock you. Well, there's only one card that I know that can really freaking shock you. And I call that the tower. I call that the tower. <laughs> so, um, But, you know, there's other cards here that can shock you, too, like your nerves. I can see the swords here. Eight of swords, nine of swords, right? Um least expecting here too hmm shocking even the star you know because they've been through so much pain and everything here the shock we have is the sun this is something about your happiness your clarity hmm oh my god it's like you're screaming at the sun leo energy oh my god it's like happiness scares you this is something good I think this is something actually good. Eight of what? This is this is going to shock you, but the horror here is it's unexpected. You're getting some shocking good news coming your way. I would do my water signs need this, so that uh, there's something here about the shocking good news. So that's what the title is going to be: uh, shocking good news coming your way. All right, let's see what the cards have to say for the signs. Just go to the st the timestamps, guys. And like I said, if there's other areas in your chart, sun, moon, rising, and Venus that aren't uh, in this reading, uh, you can get the, the additional, the rest of the reading here over at Harmonia Friends. Just look for the date for Tuesday. Okay. And it is a paid area. Cancer, Pisces. And Scorpio, let's see what this shocking good news is. This is this is good. This is good. My water signs need this. They do. All right, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, you are up. Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy. That's the Eight of Swords. Now we have two Eights, but this is about abundance here. And we have the Queen of Wands reversed. Well, you ready for this shock? Okay. I think what's going to shock you is you're going to be prepared for this. You are going to be prepared for this. Because there is something here. It could have been dealing with a... It could have been a fire or an air sign, but I'm going to say you're more of the air energy here, okay? Um, this individual is definitely arrogant. Uh, this individual always feels like they can assist you or help you. Um, but this individual, their way of helping you is not really helping you. Um, it's it's helping themselves. This individual here is all about saving themselves. Um, they really are. They're arrogant. They're feisty. Um, this person's a little bit, I want to say, conceited when it comes to how they look. They have to look a particular part. Nursing may be particular, but I want to say this person is pretty professional. Um, they come off as a professional here, but really they're not very protective of other individuals. They protect what's inside of them, you know? And I feel here, Scorpio, <laughs> dang, boom, boom, okay? I, I actually think this is going to be shot. I think you've been waiting for this, this person or the situation to come rolling back around. 
But here is the thing. The Queen of Swords here has already had their heart ripped out. All right. Um, the Queen of Swords here is all business. The Queen of Swords here will protect themselves. All right. Gun, gun, hull and all. Right. Like, yeah, try it. Look at her face. She's like, try me. Try me. Freaking try me. Yeah. Go ahead. Try me. Try me. I've been waiting for this day. I've been waiting for it. I mean, I feel this energy. I got a Scorpio here who actually, uh, you're, you're hearing some news. You're going to be hearing some news. It could be an off opportunity coming back, rolling around from you. Could be an individual here who needs your assistance, your help here. And something here where, you know, you thought this person meant well. They could have been very controlling in your life, okay? But I almost feel this scream attack here is like, oh, I'm not really that shocked. I almost feel like you're screaming at this person, okay? I feel the energy here. The shock is, you know, oh, they're here, but like there's a screaming match. And I feel the screaming match here is allowing this person to get away. You're not going to be caged by this anymore. I do feel like you're letting somebody have it, all right? Um, you're not the clown anymore, but you have no problem being the villain. You don't. Um, now, do I, would I say simmer down a little bit? I would. With the Queen of Swords, someone here who's who's honest, blunt, but also very truthful. But, um, you know, this person's going to have enough of their own beating than you are. Or this opportunity here, I mean, even just saying no or no thanks, I think is going to be the best kind of, you know, revenge out of this, all right, that's coming your way. All right, let's see what's going on here for Pisces. Pisces is up. Oh, Pisces, you got all reversals. Let's timestamp this. All right, Pisces, I'm just going to show these upright, even though we know um, that these are reversed. Okay. Well, someone is also barging in on you. Okay. But here's the thing. Here's the difference. Okay. Um, you're not hung up on this anymore, but I do want to say this. I have a Pisces here who's not hung up on a situation. Okay. Um, this person here is very closed minded, uh, could be an Aries. Um, this could be a very closed minded boss as well, or a leader, but I feel this energy of someone busting on in um, busting on in on a good time. Now, here's the thing. This also could be very work related to Pisces, especially if, um, this individual here has a very manipulative micromanaging kind of energy. It does. It's like this person will ruin everyone's good time. Put it that way. I do feel like you are not being bothered by this person's action. Someone here is stomping their feet Someone here is mad or upset in the party. And I feel this energy of you going, I don't really care anymore. I really don't care anymore. All right. Um, you're not going to allow this individual here to, to rip your heart out. And I feel like you kind of have ripped their heart out because you don't care nearly as much anymore. You don't. Gemini energy. I, I just feel this energy of not giving an F what this person does anymore. And the, sh and the shocking thing is, is now this person cares or is upset. And I feel like this person is stomping, you know, trying to mess things up or is upset at work because now you're not doing their shit or not being the diligent thing. I just feel this level of not caring, but at the same time, it's very lighthearted of, yeah, shocking. Are you, are you surprised? Because I, this doesn't scare me anymore, you know? It's, it doesn't scare me. I almost feel this level of what's shocking you is that you just don't care, not in the level that you used to. And this is pissing a person off. Okay. Um, but you know, I almost hear this energy of who's the clown now, who's the clown now, not that you would rub this in this person's face. I just really feel this energy of, I don't care. You can stomp around as much as you want. It's not going to change how I work or how I'm around people or what it is. I just, I'm so detached now from your, from your behavior or how you were doing this. I've moved on. I feel this energy of just moving on. That's what I got. All right. Let's see what's going on for cancer. Cancer is up. Cancer, we have the six of swords. 
We have the page of hazards and we have the hermits. Okay. Well, I do feel like you're out of the waters of hell. Okay. I do. I feel like you were burning something out here. Okay. This is an opportunity here to go move through calmer waters, but there's still stuff here that, you know, <laughs> I don't know what kind of assistance you got, but you definitely had someone do a favor for you or you move towards something here that felt like safety to this cancer. All right. This person could be at a distance from you or the situation could be at a distance, but whatever it was, you were kind of tied here until this individual or this opportunity could show up. And there's something here where this didn't happen timely or on your timeline, how this person could assist, how this opportunity could come in. It's like, oh my gosh, no, I'm waiting for a message. I'm waiting for a sign. I'm waiting for a new opportunity. Some of you are like, I'm waiting for that job, you know, um, follow up something here in this level where, you did not feel safe. I do feel like this opportunity here has gotten you out or you're about to get out of this scenario here. I feel actually more guarded now. Okay. Now, is there still the bad and ugly stuff out there with that Herman energy Virgo? I feel like you're in a safer spot or safer place. This was kind of wide open and, you know, you had to do some extra work here. Now you're reading a book. You're like, oh, you know what? I have the security. So there's something here about a cancer needing to know that what they're going towards is um, there's still going to be stuff out there, you know, shit that you that you're going to have to deal with that, you know, shocking things, tower moments, all of that stuff. But it's, you know, this is where you were working and, and someone here who's trying to assist you on what to do and what moves to do. And, oh, we got this. Don't worry about this, babe or honey or friend, or whatever it is. But now you can do something here because of this change of environment that makes you feel a little bit more relaxed, makes you feel like, you know what, I'm going to escape a li little. I don't necessarily have to do all of this hard work or, you know, make sure I'm getting someone out of a scenario or this person's getting me out of a scenario. I don't know. I feel like you're working on your security and your home front and investing right now. Okay. But I do feel more secure. I do feel like even though this may not be the best environment or a temporary, because we're talking about the motel here. Um, I feel like it's a temporary situation where you're going to feel a lot safer. You're going to be building things. And I want to say some of you are going to be educating yourself or learning or reading about something here, um, not only to keep your mind off things, but I feel like a new venture or a new, um, some of you, it's, it's a new, um, endeavor. Okay. Um, you're studying something here. You're educating yourself on something new. So this could be a new endeavor. You're, you're re doing some research on, or you'll have the time to do so coming up. All right, that's what I have for the water signs. I'm going to be moving on over to the fire signs next, but that's going to be over on the exclusive area. So if you want to come over there, just go to HarmoniaFriends.com, become a paid member. If not, this is where we part ways. You guys take care.